So this, what I'm weighing out now, will be one gram of protein. Everything Max eats has to be carefully weighed. The protein in foods like peas and chips can cause brain damage. There are some foods the four-year-old can't eat at all, remembered with the help of Dad. Meat. Fish. Fish. Dairy stuff. Dairy stuff. <laughs> Max's PKU means he has to get everyday foods like bread and pasta on prescription. So we get most of Max's food uh, through the chemist, don't we? We yeah. order his food as we would order a, a repeat prescription of painkillers or yeah. antibiotics. We ring the chemist, they put the repeat prescription through the doctors and then once it's in, they then deliver it. It's unbelievable to think that you know, only only 50 years ago, there were people who weren't diagnosed and because of that, lost a lot of their cognitive function and, and, and were perhaps cared for in yeah. residential homes. People's got PKU, yeah. and I've got PKU. There is no cure for PKU and treatment is a lifelong diet. It's a very successful treatment. Um, we expect that children who are picked up with PKU from newborn screening will develop normally and have normal intellect. Um, it is a dietary treatment, so that it is complicated and it is something that families and, and patients have to do day to day. It's, it impacts on every part of their life because it impacts, impacts on every food and drink that they have. Newborns in the UK are routinely tested for PKU using the heel prick test. Samples are sent to laboratories like this where it's determined whether a baby is vulnerable to a dangerous build-up of the protein phenylalanine. It's a condition that affects one in 10,000 people. So where, where are those parents who, when you're walking around a supermarket, where are those parents who are staring at the back of every packet? Where are those parents who, when you're at a kid's party and you, you're just trying to help out by giving someone juice or putting something on the plate, where are those parents who are, who are taking everything off and we're checking every packet and we're asking, does this have this? Um, and when we're doing that, it's, it's hard because you can't explain to everybody why you're doing it. Your body does all this stuff to break down the food you eat and he's just missing one part of that yeah it can be so ca catastrophic yeah andrew is raising money with a charity walk in the new year but this christmas max's family hope they can raise awareness of his condition adam mclean itv news bursco